Um, for me, the fun part is actually when an idea happens. And so, you know, I could, it could, because there were so many things that has been done in fashion. Like we look at things all the time. I look at magazines all the time. I look at art. I look at, um, um, you know, the street culture for style. So there's a lot of voices, but the, the, when it's most fun is when an idea happens and it sort of sparks in your head. Like you actually feel it and you're like, oh wow, this is a good idea. And you saw, you're almost kind of drunk in thought of idea. So then for me, that's really exciting because I know that, that when, that's when something works. And then the other exciting part is when you see the garment, you see the finished product come from the factory and you're like, wow, you know, this is actually how I envision it. So that's actually an exciting part as well. So always fun in the very beginning when the idea is born and always fun right at the end when you kind of see the finished product. Takun's a New Yorker, and the whole city is a wellspring of inspiration. Here's a modern art show featuring the work of more than 300 artists from all over the world. Takun gets a real buzz from this work of art. This leg. They're, they're so beautiful. The leg that goes into the... I love that. They're so beautiful. It's a porcelain piece, an assembly of female body parts. This artist paints with her toes, breasts, and backside. I look at art quite a bit, um, and there's, there are always ideas in art that apply for me to fashion. In February, Takun showed his 2010 fall collection. Five new items of clothing and 35 new shoe designs will be featured. One pair of shorts is bothering him. Okay. But I just don't know why this is dropping so much. So this, this, is this visible, do you think, when you put them on? No, it's not. It's not, it's short. Sure. Do you we, want to try yeah, me? Can you yeah. put them on? The fabric is slack. They don't really look like shorts. This just needs to be like tacked up. Like okay. He tacks up the hem. It just needs to be tacked up. Okay, Good. now they look like shorts. Okay. It's going to be way better than that other thing. Yeah, better than skirt and better than the time at the pony shoes. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Got it. We run a house as well. We have to start the show. As showtime approaches, the final detailed checks continue. Takun's New York Collection, Fall 2010. The shorts he was working on up to the last minute. Behind the scenes, adjustments continue right through the show.
2010 fall collections concept was fairy tale softness. If the fabric itself is stiff, he softens the impact with prints. Skillfully mixed materials, a hallmark of Takum style. It's a groundbreaking collection of great success. Cody also gets his inspiration from the city of New York. Just through people, even people I see walking around the street in different areas, um, especially this area downtown, and then all these buildings here, like even that one that just went up over there. I do, I think the, the architecture is really amazing. I love modern, modern architecture. Um, I really like the sort of cutout they have on the side of the building for the window. That's really inspiring to me. It's something I had on, I used to do a lot in school with cutouts on like the shoulders of like sort of a see-through organza and stuff like that. The clothes for Cody's first lookbook are sewn at a Sumaya workshop. This jacket will be photographed for the book. Uh, this is a little jacket for the fall collection. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Those are, those are still being worked on, actually. Like, the hem and buttons will have to be put on, but they're pretty much done, yeah. So it's ready. Uh, Takun gets his clothes in here, I think. They make Takun's designs in high volume. It's great. I love his clothes. I've always, I've always been a fan of his. So, yeah, I was so excited to know that he gets his clothes done here too. So, yeah. Takun's fashions are mass-produced in different sizes for retail. Cody's clothes are one-offs, made as samples. This place is great. They're great. They're really good to me, especially being young and I can't um, do large production. You know. They're really accommodating towards me for that. Cody can't wait to see people actually wearing his designs. He heads home to complete preparations for tomorrow's lookbook shoot. Since I don't have a working table here, I do everything on the floor, like cutting uh, my patterns and stuff. I had my box of pins on the floor, and I jumped down off one of those stools and stepped right onto this box of pins. So I had about five pins sticking into the bottom of my foot the other night, which was awful. I had to pull them out. So that's what happens when you're too tired and trying to sew. This is the funnest part for me, sewing on the, the label, because it lets you know you're actually finished making something, and then it's just like, I don't know. Then it's yours, you know? There it is. See, and that feels good <laughs> when that's done. Tomorrow's the big day.